Okay, so salam alaikum once again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we have a joint group today. Everyone's going to learn or we're going to discuss the importance of having your annual wellness. Your annual wellness um, visit to the doctor or your clinician, okay? So like I was asking earlier, who's had their annual last week appointment? Last week. Last week. Last week. So you've had those last already. Week. Okay. Last so year. hopefully some uh, the rest of you guys will have your schedule the rest of so at some point this year because you should go for this every year. So I'm going to introduce you now to Nurse Adiva. She will tell us all about what you can expect when you go for your visit. My golden okay. tooth is going to get my silver tooth is going to get removed next um, uh, next year. Oh, okay. I have a silver tooth. I don't got any. Wow. We focus here. I'm going to give us one, two, three. All right. Salam alaikum, everyone. Salam alaikum, My name's Adiva. I'm a nurse. All right. I'm a registered nurse. And I work in the ICU. I've been a nurse for 14 years. So the ICU is where we take care of really sick people, right? Like guys, people with cancer? People with cancer, but people who are really sick. COVID? Like, COVID, yep. Really, really sick. They're not able to talk for themselves. Heartburn. Very sick. So I also work with people at their house. Home health. I go to their house and I check on them and make sure they're okay, right? What do you say? It's like what my my my, my nurse, no. My grandma's nurse when she has a yes. station. Comes to the house and check on people. Yes, that's what I do. Yep. Oh, what about the, um, that new virus? That, uh, blah, blah, blah. What was it called again? It started with an like, anger, anger or something? Mm -hmm. mm, I don't know, but in the ICU, I get I take care of you people who the have the all kinds of viruses, like right? Anger. Okay, so what I'm here to talk to you about is how you can make sure that I never see you in the ICU, right? Wait, of course, a law controls everything, so we do our best, and sometimes emergencies happen, sometimes things happen, you get sick. You but sick? there are things that you can do. You, I'll answer your questions at the end. Okay. Uh, but there are things that you can do to you? make sure that you don't get sick, right? It's called wellness visits, right? Preventative health. So that's a big word, but basically all it means is to prevent. That means to make sure something doesn't happen, right? Preventative health. So that's why you guys go to the doctor at least once a year. Who's been to the doctor this year? Me. I know the year is new, but... I've got blood works like twice. Okay, good. What about last year? That's Did everybody... Did anybody yeah. see the doctor at least once last year? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. I haven't been to the dentist this year. Okay, that's okay. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the slides here, okay? All right, I think it's presenting. Can you guys see that? Kind of? The projector doesn't work, so we have to... Okay, no. No. All right, so like I said, preventative care, right, is the care that you do to make sure that you don't get sick. You go to the doctor once a year, they listen to you, right? They listen to your heart, they listen to your lungs, they might take some blood, yeah. and they're looking in your blood to make sure that everything is okay, right? This is preventative care. They want to prevent something serious from happening. Because if you don't go to the doctor, right, and they're not constantly checking you, something could be wrong and no one would know right? They wouldn't know until you got really sick, right? So that's why we keep going. Hold on a second. Right? So preventative care. What? You have a question? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. So what if they, will they, if they, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, do you like, I'm going to, Take blood from the individual veins. Do I? Yes, I do. Um, yeah, I'll enter water into them. Uh, saline. We don't put water in veins, but we put saline in veins. Yes, I do all I'm that. Actually, you guys can ask me all these questions at the end. Let me just get through this part. The okay. The reason I'm mm -hmm. not inserted something into his veins is, is because I'm uh there wasn't enough water in them and like oh. his stomach was really hurting. You were dehydrated. Yeah. So they gave you some IV fluids. No. Yeah. All right, well, tell me at the end, okay? All right, so what we call, when you go to the doctor every year, you get what's called a physical, right? Yeah. You need one per year. You need one before you go to school. So what happens in a physical? The doctor does what? 
hit your knee with the thing. Yes. Okay. Yep. Your they hit your knee. They, they're testing reflexes. They want to see if you have proper reflexes. Some people, when they're sick, when you hit their knee, their leg won't do that because there's something wrong with their body. Like, so, so if your leg is healthy, it, yeah. like this. it should, it should yeah, respond. Yeah. It to me, even though I'm not sick. It does happen. Okay. So when you get a physical, right? The doctor uses the stethoscope. They listen to your heart, listen to your lungs, make sure everything's normal, right? They look inside your ear. Look, you got oh. these cool props here, right? Well, this is a thermometer. So they always check your temperature, right? I think this is a thermometer too. Um, they check inside your ear. They check inside your throat, right? Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then the last thing they usually do is they take some blood, which they should, right? They they check your blood. Yes, please. Why? That's good. That's good. No, it's not too much. I've seen much more than that. So they check your blood to make sure that everything inside your body is okay, right? All right. So this is a this is a physical. That's called a physical, okay? I'm going to ask you questions at the end to see if you're all right? So next, dental care. This is also part of preventative care, wellness. You have to see a dentist at least how many times a year? Two. Exactly. Twice a year. Twice. Twice. Every six months is the standard, okay? Every six months, you're supposed to go to the dentist, and what do they do? Insert blood. Blood. Nope. Check it. What? No. They check your teeth. Stop. What else? Wash them. Yes, they clean your teeth. They put right? gum they they put gum, gum and then you yeah, don't have to. You can't swallow it. Oh, you're talking about fluoride treatment? Yeah. yeah. No, so they put it's a very gum, like, they put <laughs> your, uh, uh, a gum, they, some sort, about one side, so they put a, a gum flavored thing under. You, they okay, so they can do different it. things, but you go to the dentist twice a year, every six months to do a cleaning, right? They clean your teeth, they check your teeth, they make sure you have all the teeth that you're supposed to have, right? And they make sure you don't have any cavities and nothing is rotting. I've never had a cavity except That's great. So if you don't take care of your teeth, listen, it's very important. If you don't take care of your teeth, the bacteria in your mouth can spread from your mouth into your blood and you can get very sick. So it's not something that we just do just so we can have nice white teeth, but right? What? You have to take care of your mouth because what of the germs. That's okay. That's normal. Yeah. What if your teeth don't grow? You're supposed to, well, the dentist is checking for that. They're going to check and see that you have all the teeth you're supposed what to have if, at that age, right? So that's why you go there. What so when you go there, they might also do x rays. Have anybody had x rays at the dentist before? Yeah. When they make you bite down oh, on something yeah. and like that, and then they take x rays? Yeah, that should oh. also happen once they, a year at least. They did a, 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 a a hand actually because okay my bones are old two years older than me. Oh, interesting. All right, what, so what happens if you have if you use headgear? Save it. your questions till the end, okay? okay? All right, so we talked about physicals, we talked about dental. Okay, now mental health. Does anyone know what that is? Yeah. For your brain. Your brain, right? Mental health is how you how you feel, your emotions, your thoughts, right? So that's, this is important as your physical health, right? Yeah. So you may feel okay, like, you know, physically, you're not sick, yeah, but mentally. you don't, but you don't feel well mentally. Maybe you're always sad. Maybe you're always anxious. Maybe you're afraid. So that's important too. And if you feel like that, you need to tell your parents, right? You need to tell your doctor. Is there an effect for your funny bone? Is there an effect for your funny bone? What do you funny mean? Bone. Like, is there anything that can happen to your funny bone? You can break it. How? You can break it like any other bone, right? Okay, so mental health. Also, how you deal with stress, right? How you deal with your friends, how you interact with people. That's all your mental health. If you find that you're having a hard time with that, you should let somebody know, okay? You understand? Yeah. All right, so That's mental health is important too. Okay. Wash your hands. Everyone know how to wash their hands? Yes. Okay. The six rules to go. wash your hands. First, wash your hands. Second, scrub. Uh -huh, then get uh -huh. soap. Then So washing your hands is very seconds. important for your wellness. That's something very easy that you can do every day, right? You don't need anyone to tell you to do that. You're supposed to do it, right? Washing your hands. This is part of, this is all part of preventative health, right? Y'all with me? Preventing illness. Wash your hands, Okay. The next thing is boost your immune system. Do you guys know what an 
There's even more new students. Thank you. Oh, well, you. Thank you. Oh, you can sit over here. Okay, guys, your immune system. What is that? Ooh. What is your immune system? What do you, what does that mean? Okay. The system that um makes you um it makes you immune from immune like it protects you from viruses. Very good, very good. That's and yes. It makes you indestructible. So how do you make sure that your immune system is strong? By eating healthy. Eating healthy. What else? Mm. Yes. Working out every day. Exercise. Great. What do you guys? What do you want to say? Exercising. Exercising, right? Yep. I'll say Doing eating healthy. Exercise. Eating uh -huh. healthy, exercising daily. Oh, like, making sure you get enough sleep. Stay hydrated. Right? You're reading it. Staying hydrated. Make yep. Sure you don't. Make sure you don't have a exercise. Take vitamins as well. Does anybody take vitamins in here? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Okay. I take vitamins yeah. before I sleep. Very good. So there's some vitamins that are really special and they help to increase your immune system. Vitamin C, zinc, vitamin D, those are special ones that you should try to take. When you're sick, you can add other ones, but you can talk to your doctor about that. But the point is, you need to boost your immune system all year round, especially now. This is flu season, right? This is cold and flu season. It starts around October and ends in March. So now is the time when everyone's getting sick. So it's really important to boost your immune system. That means now is not the time to eat extra candy, right? Eat a lot of junk. Don't do that right now. Eat healthy, drink water, make sure you sleep. After March. I am not. Nice try. I'm saying that right now, you should just do better, right? Just do extra. But, but no. Okay, so what should you do when you do get sick, right? Because we, we can do all these things and sometime we'll get sick, right? It's normal to catch a cold or a virus. It might last for two weeks, right? That's normal. Unless so what should you do? Or wear Stay home. Yes. Very good. Vitamin C is a really good one for when you get sick. Take a lot of vitamin C. Yes, stay home, right? Unless you have really good protection or unless you have lots of masks. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you can wear a mask, of course. But if you feel sick, you should stay home, but especially if you have a fever, right? Okay, so it's really important that you don't go outside and spread your germs to everybody else, right? Okay, so... What happens when you're so sick that you need to see a doctor or you need to go to the emergency room? Oh, uh, get rid of this. Do you know when to go? No. Do you guys know when to go to the, when you need to see a doctor? I don't know. How when to you're sick and it's here every month. And so if you, have, if you have like a cold, you know, maybe you have a fever, yeah. coughing, runny nose, you can go see a doctor and they'll probably tell you you have a cold and to go home and, and rest, yeah. right? Also but it's an emergency. Okay, so what's your... Thank you. I think we, um, you want to sit right here? Okay, so when is it an emergency? Hey, this is important. If you can't breathe, that's an emergency, oh, right? Feeling? If you what? can't breathe, if you feel like you can't breathe, if your chest hurts, that's an emergency. You got to go to the ER, right? If you if you feel very weak, if you're in a lot of pain, and you maybe your your parent gave you some pain medicine, some Tylenol, and it didn't work, then you need to go to the ER, right? You what else? Your car. Can I take? Uh huh. So this is this one Tylenol and Masinon. We were at Trampoline Park, right? The first time ever when we were in a Trampoline Park mm -hmm. at Mass and Nun, right? I did a double front flip off of this tall thing, right? Mm -hmm. I landed my chin on my chest, couldn't be for three seconds. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, well, so I mean, so that that's a little different. So you it was quick, and then you recovered, right? So what yeah. I'm saying is if you feel like you can't breathe and it's not getting better, then you need to go to the ER. If you're throwing up, if you're constantly throwing up and it doesn't stop, you need to go to the ER. Okay? What if yes. you throw up in the ER? That's fine. They'll take care of you. What do you want to say? What if you throw up in the sky? What? 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 What?
and um, uh, I had shortness. I had shortness of breath. Oh, you did. You had arthritis. What did you? Do? Asthma. Um, oh, you have asthma. Okay. Yeah, I talked to um uh, my um my counselor, mm -hmm. and then um uh, I called home, and then my mom came to pick me up, and I left early. Okay. Well, that's good. You felt better after that? Yeah. Okay. So well, I mean, after that, I had to go to the Max. doctor and okay. get a new inhaler. Okay. All right. So you had you had a plan. That's good. So that wasn't a that wasn't a true emergency. I mean, if if your inhaler didn't work, then you would need to go to the ER, right? So I just want to make sure you guys understand what's an emergency, what's normal, and what's not, right? Yeah. We got it. Can we watch All a right. movie about that? Um, I don't know. Maybe. All right. So last thing. Last thing, and then you guys can ask me all your questions. Okay. Uh, looks like it. How do I get this over here? So, what is, and we kind of already talked about this, but what, <laughs> excuse me, what is the number one way to prevent the spread of germs? Uh, coughing. Uh, wear a mask. Oh, it's going to come here. The mask is good, but there's another thing that you should do. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Wash your hands. Washing your hands is the number one. You hear me? Number one, best way to prevent the spread of germs. Wash your hands. Hand. You can wear a mask all day long. If you don't wash your hands, you're still gonna get sick. But but because you because how you how imagine you go all day you touching everybody touching everything and you don't wash your hands but you have a mask right you take your mask off boom now you got germs in your face you're sick. How do germs get in? Through your nose, your nose, mouth, mouth, your eyes. Wait, what? Ears. Yeah, anything that's open. Nose, mouth, eyes. It's possible, but Turn here, nails. right? So you can wear a mask, but if you don't wash your hands, you're still going to get sick. Fingers. So hand washing, number one way. Number one way for everybody, okay? Okay. So we're going to talk about what you need to do to keep your hands clean properly. How long should you wash your hands for? 20 seconds. Very good. Back to the alphabet. So how do you know that it's been 20 seconds? How do you know? That's right. That's right. So what can we do to make sure that it's been 20 seconds? You don't you're not gonna look at your watch or I know. what? Sing the A Yes, you can a sing a song. So you can sing an ABC song or you can sing the happy birthday song. They're both they're both about 20 seconds, okay? So you go in the bathroom, right? Hey. Go in the bathroom. Well, what do you do? Okay. Sing well, a do, you, song. do you just put the soap on and start washing? Mm. What do you do first? Scrub. Rinse your hands. You wet your hands first, right? And then cold or hot water. Uh, warm. Warm water. Do not wash your hands in cold water. Waste of time. Okay. <laughs> warm water. Wet your hands first. Put the soap on. Start singing. What's so bad about cold water? Warm water kills the germs. Cold water doesn't kill the germs. It makes it. Okay. Big. So warm water and soap. Right. Listen. Sing the song, right? Wash your hands. And then what do you do next? You wash again. No. You no, wash you your hands, it. you rinse, dry it. Don't come out of the bathroom doing this. Don't do this. Don't do that. Dry your hands, right? Paper and towel, air is fine. Dry them you, completely. Like, completely, okay? Did you know that the sixth step to washing your hands is saying that your hands are clean? Okay, that works. What are you going to say? So I was, I was asking... Like if you if you have to wash your hands in hot water, how come how come it's healthier to take a shower in cold water? It's healthier to take a shower in cold water? I don't know if it's healthier. There's some benefits to cold water. There's benefits to cold water showers, but it's not for removing germs. We're talking about removing germs. Warm water and soap. Yeah, you do have germs that naturally are on your skin, but the good point germs. is not to spread them to other people, right? Good germs. So, you do have good germs, that's right. So, proper hand washing, guys, okay? Right? Yeah. So, you know, 20 seconds, wash your hands, warm water, soap, dry them, and you're done, right? Okay, cool. We're going to do a quick experiment because I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to spread your germs. How easy it is, okay? Are we going to play a game called Experimental Brawl? All right, so I need... um. Ding. We need, let's see. All right, so volunteer. who wants to volunteer? Let's put it that way. Okay, just come stand up here. I was raising a quiet Everyone hand. will raise their hand. Come up. Oh. Okay, so real quick, guys. If you don't have soap and water, what do you use? 
Uh, you see them. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer is only okay when you can't see the dirt. You hear me? If yeah. you see the dirt, then you can't use hand sanitizer. You need soap and water. Right. It, because so, hand sanitizer is only for hands that don't have physical dirt on them. That means food. You've been playing outside. Your hands look dirty. You need soap and water, okay? But you can use hand sanitizer any other time. Good. And make sure with hand sanitizer, make sure you put a good amount. Of score. Your whole hand needs to get yeah, wet. And then you feet. keep rubbing until it's dry, okay, guys? Okay. If you if you put the hand sanitizer and you go like this and you walk away, you're not clean. Keep rubbing until everything is dry. Okay? All right. So how many people up here? One, two, three, four, five. Five. We need one more. Oh. One more person. Come on. Who else? You want to come? That's fine. That's my brother's seat. That's my brother's seat. All right. So we need two different groups. We need two different groups. Are you are you volunteering? Or you just want to sit up front? Okay, all right. So, one, two, three, my brother four, was sitting seven. there. Uh, hey, but you want to come on? No? no, all right. Yeah, so, okay. I need two groups yeah. I need the group that's going to be clean and the group that's going to be dirty. <laughs> dirty over here. Wait. Okay, all right. So, you guys, start a war? yes, oh, okay. well, I'm of course not. Come on. Okay. Mask. All the clean room. Yeah. This is hand sanitizer. Hold your hands off. See how your hand is wet? That's yeah. how it should be. Now rub it together. Okay, rub it. Clean your hands good, all right? All right, this is the dirty group. Put your hands out. What is that? Acid? This is these are germs. Pretend these are germs, okay? Is that acid? No. No, that's actually soap. Oh, uh -huh. no, it's pretend germs. Wait, it's good germs? It's not so. Yeah. What is it? You'll see. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, now no, rub, it, rub it in your hand. This, this right here. Mm -hmm. Rub it in. Yucky. Oh, so. What? Rub it all around. It's not so. It's not so. You'll see. It's glowing. Okay, it's rub it, rub it all around. You can rub it on the back if you want, but really, I just want to heal you. Okay? All right. Are you my my I'm not here to massage your power. You're fine. Okay, so y'all stand over here, please, and hold your hands up. Hold your hands up like this in front of you, like this. Okay? You guys hold your hands up. In front of you. Um, make sure you guys are not so close so I can see everyone. You come this way, please. You come this way. I'm going to cut the light off real quick. You come around here. All right, ready? Wow, that didn't help. I thought it was going to get yeah. really dark in here. All right, well, let me see if y'all can see. All right, now, hold your hands up. Face the, oh, face the class. Yeah. Let's see. You guys see anything? No. no. Nothing on her? Nothing? Nothing. Okay. Nothing. You see? Nothing there? Hold it up. Stand back here this way. Yeah. Nothing? Yeah. All right. Let me see you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold your hands up. Hold your hands up. Hold the turn. Let me see you. Get out of here. Yeah, bro. Get out of here. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. Get out of here. Put your hands. Hold no. it up. Hold it up so they can see. All right. So all of them right here, they have germs on their hands. Okay. You so want now, to arm wrestle them? Now I want you guys to go shake hands. No. No. <laughs> Just shake hands. Looks like right? All right. All right. Now let's see. Oh, don't rub it on your don't rub it on your hands. Don't rub it. Come back. All right, y'all can go back over there. All right, now let me see. Hold your hands up. Face this way. Come on, this way. All right, let's see. Hold it up. Did you wipe it on your pants? You sure? Okay, can you see? Yeah, I see. All right, let me see your hands. Hold them up. I didn't finish it. Hold them up. Side. So, look, come on. 
Let me see you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's see him. Let's see him. Let's see him. Hold him up. Hold him up like this. You wiped him off, didn't you? No, I didn't shake it. Didn't oh, you. You. Okay, so anyway, the point is. Wait. The point is, you see how easy it is to spread the germs. Guys, I shake it. I don't have it on me. You better get one of them. Look at that. Look how quick that was. This is in real life, okay? Now imagine. Yeah, we're going to clean them in a minute. So the point of that was to show how easy it is to spread your germs, right? Now imagine you've been touching everybody all day long. You're touching your face. You're touching all kinds of stuff. You're like, spreading it, okay? That's how easy it is. Right? All right. So this is why we have to wash our hands often. Before you eat. After you eat. After you use the bathroom, right? Okay. Let me see, Let me see the other side. Ooh, look at that. Oh, the sleeves and everything. It's all in sleeve? Yeah. That's how, that's how it is. Okay. No one will notice unless someone touches it. Hey, that's my brother. Okay. Okay. Not okay. Okay. So the best, the best way to get this off is to use soap and water, but we don't have that. This is white. Yeah, so. Can I still use it? It's on the floor. No, I'll give you a white because it's hard to get that off. Okay. So you have a Did everybody else get it? So you can you can see the dirt, but they're there. Okay, they're there. All right. All right, guys. So that is the end. You can ask questions, but I'm just just as just as an extra, I'm gonna show you guys everything I do to make sure that I don't get sick and that I don't bring germs home to my family. You guys just wash your hands, okay? But these this is what I have to do. Okay. Eat salmon. Eat healthy food. Wash your hands. What on earth are you doing? There's no food. No, look. There's no food. Oh, what? Oh, oh look. Um, shoes that you don't track. Oh, there. yeah. So I don't bring the germs. From one person to the next and bring it home, right? And uh, that one. Yeah. You can hold semi gorgon. Semi gorgon? Oh, he said semi gorgon. I said semi gorgon. And when I go to work, I do this all day, all day, over and over again. Every time I go from one person to the next, I get a new one. Why? So I don't spread the germs, right? Uh, how much money does it cost? It's very expensive. Know. It's very expensive. And can you buy like like two hundred of them? Yeah. Maybe. So I can't find my gloves, but pretend pretend that I put gloves on, okay? <laughs> you have to wear that. Yeah, you have to. Wear you have to wear a face mask. Oh, yeah, you have to wear absolutely. one of those glass thingies. Not one, but two. Oh Do you wear one of those glass thingies that, like... I'm getting there. I'm getting I'm there. It's, it's, no, I'm, just get 15, used to it. Just get used to it. You got what? What? Let's look for your covers. This one is gone. And the last step, of course, just pretend I have gloves on, okay? Because I left it. So there's gloves on. Sometimes I put on two gloves. Two gloves. If somebody is really sick or there's vomit and blood and stuff, I put on two gloves sometimes, right? So, very important, right? You guys don't have to do all this. All you got to do is what? Wash your hands. hands. Wash your hands. And you can wear a mask too if you want, but it's just very important that you wash your hands, right? And what else? Eat healthy. Eat healthy. healthy. Exercise every Whoa. day. Right. Okay. Good. Good. Because I don't want to see you in the hospital, right? Inshallah, I don't want to see you there. All right, so now you can ask me all your questions. Okay. Go ahead.
Say it again. What is the ICU? ICU, intensive care unit. And why do so much people wear clothes? <laughs> <laughs> because they, because they like it. No <laughs> Oh. Because they like it. And of well, course, they want, such a so thing. that they won't lose their rank. And when I when I see sick people, when I when I wear all that, that's only for people who have contagious diseases or contagious illnesses. You know what contagious means? Yes. What does that mean? Stuff that you can spread. Stuff you can spread very easily. Yes. Yes. Like Yelling. COVID. Like COVID. What else? Geometry. Flu. Geometry. Strep throat. Right. Strep throat. These are very contagious. Right. Wait, All right. What is yeah, huh? Yawning? Yeah, but it's not. It's not an illness, it's right? Like, it's not an illness. Like, what do you want to say? Like, yes, germs. Anything that's that's easy to spread. Yeah. So when I have those kind of people that I take care of, everyone gets their own stethoscope. Why don't we? We don't share these either because germ is that contagious. All right. Okay, can we go, okay, go ahead. Sneezing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anymore. Um, wait, no, I was gonna ask you another question. Um, Michael, will you have a new intro? Can you watch a movie? No, 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 you're welcome. So, guys, everyone, we're going to go well, outside for well, a few minutes. Uh, as you can turn stop. Okay. So, make sure you can listen here and listen to the answer. Okay, honey. I'm over here. Thank you. So make sure you're in your best behavior, okay? Okay. So let's put your jacket on and we'll go outside. They have snacks out there. Do a head count. I didn't count. I just want to move my head out. Yes, I don't know how to cut this off. Don't try on the floor. 